Good morning and welcome to Ben Brin's Throws Thought for the Day for Thursday the 29th of June. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the summer. It's been great so far. And um, we're going to hear some great words from the Acts of the Apostles. This morning, today I'm reading from Acts chapter 11 verses 1 to 18 and I'm reading for the NIV version. Uh, titled Peter Explains His Actions. Acts chapter 11 verses 1 to 18. The apostles and the believers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believer criticised him and said, You went into the house of the uncircumcised men and ate with them. Starting from the beginning, beginning, Peter told them the whole story. I was in the city of Joppa, praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. I saw something like a large sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners. And it came down to where I was. I looked into it. I looked into it and saw four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, reptiles and birds. Then I heard a voice telling me, Get up, Peter, eat and kill. I replied, Surely not, Lord. Nothing impure or unclean has ever entered my mouth. The voice spoke from heaven a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened three times. And then... It was all pulled up to heaven again. Right then, three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea stopped at the house where I was staying. The Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the, the man's house. He told us how he had seen an angel appear in his house and say, Send to Joppa for Simon, who is, who is called Peter. He will bring you a message... He will bring you a message through which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came on to them as he had come on to us at the beginning. Then I remembered what the Lord had, Lord had said to them, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift he has given us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could stand in God's way? When they heard this, they had no further objections and praised God, saying, So then, given to the Gentiles God has so so then, even to Gentiles, God has granted repentance that leads to life. So here we have a great story of a group of people, um, the Jews, they've been promised the promised land for thousands and thousands of years. They've been taken out of slavery, if you remember way back in Egypt, and God had led them <clears throat> through the prophets, uh, Moses, and Elijah. And yet here we have a usurper. We have a usurper in Jesus and what he spoke about them. And we saw how the uh, Orthodox Jews dealt with him and how they used uh, the Romans to put him to death on the cross. But that amazingly was all part of God's plan. And so here we have Peter, formerly Simon, uh, a massive persecutor of Christians back in the day before he had his road to Damascus experience, suddenly um, being called to explain why on earth he was sharing that precious gift, that precious gift that had been um, marked out just for the Jews, just for the chosen people, that special race. Uh, it was now available for all. Uh, people go through ordeals and trials within the Jewish uh, race. Uh, certainly here we know, see from being circumcised uh, and other things throughout their lives to be part of that community, that would be marked special. And yet the uh, promise to that community was now spared with others, or now being shared with others. And to be frank, they were unhappy about it. And there they were asking Peter as to why. Uh, and how many times have we in our life uh, been part of something special, been part of something exclusive? And uh, we really enjoyed that. And then all of a sudden, those doors uh, have been opened up to others. And actually, quite frankly, our noses were out of joint because we were part of the inner sanctum. And that was great. And yet now any, everybody else could enjoy what we were enjoying. And um, frankly, I think that happens too much in our society, but that's a, a different point. But here we just have Peter explaining to them uh, clearly in some epic wisdom from God in terms of why it's important that actually his message wasn't just for a sole <clears throat> section of society, but is available for all. And the brilliance of his argument is that once they'd heard it, they went away content. They went away content and understanding that Jesus' love, uh, Jesus' rescue plan, and Jesus is 
grace for our lives uh, was available to them as chosen Jews, but also available to all. And that message is the same for us today, which is uh, a wonderful thing to hear and a wonderful thing to understand. So my prayer for you today on this Thursday is that know you are loved, know that you're accepted wherever you came from, and that Jesus' love is for you. Amen.